hello folks, welcome back. Now the country is on fire because President Ruto appointed Raila's allies, Joe Opiwandai Mbadi, yeah, no paranya. And of course, this has elicited mixed reaction. Why? Because people are now saying that Raila used Gen Z's blood, you know, for his own benefit. Because in the list, Kenya have not seen any Gen Z or any Mumboga, <coughs> sorry, or any Boda Boda. But you have just seen the big people, the rich people, you know, being appointed. In fact, Ruto even went further and reappointed. You know, some of the ministers or CSS that were dismissed before. So Gen Z have seen this as a as a joke. And they're saying now they are going to occupy status huh? and now they are ready to, for anything to pay the ultimate price. But they want to convey their message to Williams and Ruto. But people have been asking themselves, why do you think Raila and Ruto are to do this? If you ask me, Ruto was desperate. That's why he did this. He was extremely desperate. And he knew that without Raila's hand, Gen Z's would remove him from power. So he had to join forces with the opposition so that the Gen Z's who are somehow affiliated to ODN will now have sympathy for him and of course will cool down. And of course some other Gen Z's will have to give up because initially they thought that they would take someone like Raila Mordinga, someone like Joe, to as the president but now they have no one even though they're saying that their formation is leaderless so they don't want anyone to be their leader but again this move has somehow intimidated the gen z's it has made them lose hope because they're like now what next yeah? what are we going to do because everything is going seem to be going astray so that's what's happening now and Ruto knows very well that without right is the, the strongest opponent now he can have that's what he knows that's why he's doing anything in his power to please a wombo that's why he even gave him the au job i mean he's campaigning for him to be the au chairperson and of course now he's taken his people and he has given him powerful ministry imagine finance ministry yeah mining ministry these are powerful ministry that he has given a guam. This is a way of pleasing him and telling him that we are together, let's fight together against the young people who are now who, who now want me to be out of power. That's what's happening now. So you tell me in the comment section, do you think this formation will intimidate Gen Z's and they'll stop you know, pers you know the persuasion? Do you think this formation will make uh Raila I mean, it has somehow gone against Raila's political mileage. Yeah? Do you think Raila will remain relevant? That's another question I would like you to answer. Or do you think this is a scheme by Raila Modinga to, of course, harvest from the government? Tell me, of course. Thank you.